But now we're obviously focusing a lot on Gen AI and hence the, the factory nature of this. We're actually producing tokens now at scale for a lot of things. Yeah. Um, what do you see as some of the newer use cases in an enterprise sense, like not just a chat bot, but where do you see Gen AI starting to, to change the way businesses work and needing you know, factories for AI now? You know, it's one that and we run a fully functional lab, okay, um, where it's, you know, 98 racks of full of hardware, co- setting up configurations, that type of thing. The one, the one piece that we've been able to deploy within our lab that was super impactful, log analysis. Being able to actually not manually have to lo- run through logs and decipher what does it mean, what's going to be the resolution path. I mean, to be able to have immediate log analysis and suggested res- resolution path has been absolutely time-saving for any of our IT administrators in my lab. And I know that that's the same with customers that are doing the same thing. Um, it's, it's just a small one that it, you wouldn't really necessarily think about it, but it just makes such an impact on a person's day-to-day work stream that that means that my IT administrator or system admin can now go off and actually deploy things that are going to be helpful instead of chasing down issues. Right. Right. Love it. So it makes a big difference. It's not sexy, but it's actually useful. Exactly. That's exactly it. And we're getting to that stage. Uh, at first it was all about digital human. It was all about these really interesting use cases, but now it's, it's actually getting into usefulness, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's uh, where are we actually going to be able to reduce the time it takes to do certain tasks or menial tasks? That just nobody wants to do. No one's signing up for that job. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not either. So you talked about a little bit about uh, the container example, like a computer vision example, and, and you mentioned multimodal. And mm-hmm. you actually said for you guys, you guys use it for log analysis. So I'm you know, using some type of LLM, um, obviously, for that with text input. When you have customers who are looking at buying something like a Dell AI factory, does the use case matter so much do you have it i guess to the, the the better question is do you have it to the point where you say if you want to do llms you want this type of configuration if you want to do computer vision you want this type of configuration how gotcha. do you guys guide your customers through that process and getting that right hardware right software stack on their systems so we start off with a few different ways but we actually have these dell validated designs which what that means effectively is that you know what we've set it up configured and and run it. So we've we've set it up, configured and run it in a lab, and we can ensure sizing characteristics between concur- concurrent users, token size, um, tokens per second return. You know, we can ensure that it, it sits within a specific framework. I mean, if you're setting up a 7 billion parameter model versus a 70 billion parameter model, there's gonna be drastically different configurations, right? And you don't want to overspend on one or underspend and have it not be and have the, the solution not be performant. So to be able to, to give guidance on that, my lab, uh, as well as some other CTO labs within Dell, have been putting together sizing parameters that we can kind of give guidance of. Now, obviously, every customer is unique and different, but we can give a parameter guidance of this many concurrent users. This type of um, this type of parameter model, you know, it, it, we can give some sort of sizing, and it really is um, uh, it really is the determinant factor of hey, it what is going to be your your GPU spend, uh, what is going to be because that's really where a lot of the cost of these deployments is coming from is the accelerators that you're implementing today at least, and uh, and the platforms and software stack and the services surrounding it. So that's that's been the unique thing, thing because in some instances, you might not need GPUs. You might actually be able to do inferencing on CPU only. Um, and if that's the case, you know, just use a scale out model with more nodes, 